you don't want to go on shadow someone and it not really lead to anything if you're actually looking for a job at the end of it hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to up on it i am charlene so today's video is going to be on work experience so i get asked a lot about how to find work experience and how to get internships and does it matter will it affect me if i don't have work experience and what kind of work experience is seen as good work experience all those kind of questions i think they're all valid questions um i think it's important to differentiate the different types of work experiences and then really look at whether or not it's worth it in short i think all work experience is useful but useful doesn't necessarily always mean it's going to get you a job so I'm gonna break it down for you guys. The first kind of category is unpaid work experience. So that's usually more of a shadowing program. So you literally would just go and shadow someone for a day, two days, three days, um, on an informal basis, just to see what they do. Um, with all these things, you always have to sign a non-disclosure agreement because you can't talk about what you've necessarily seen there in detail, just the skills and stuff that you've learned. Um, but it's unpaid, so usually it's really, really kind of more casual, um, but it's a good way to see whether or not you like the type of work that they do. Another thing you can do is get onto a more formal program. So a lot of people um, have programs, usually when people are sick from a college age, or or obviously during the university ages so those are things that you can apply to on a more formal program and I think with a lot of those programs it's not so much shadowing the whole time so with that you might have more kind of you'll be based more in like a more of a classroom type of setting so it's more like um, you do skill sessions and developing on your you know whether it's a CV or how to make good applications um, so more the kind of developmental side of things and you might have maybe half a day where you shadow someone so there's that kind of program as well which you can get onto and then there's also paid internships so usually these are offered when people are 18 plus so when they're at university usually people can apply to paid internships or vacation programs and some of them are really fantastic um, it's up to you to decide obviously which one you want to do you can have insight weeks which are usually three to five days or you can go to, to apply to a full blown internship and depend on the organization that you're thinking of. I think what's really important to note is that not all of the internships are straight conversion internships. So here are the questions I think you should ask yourself when it comes to looking for work experience. A. Am I just wanting to see what it's like to see what I do or I don't like or if there's something potentially that I could get into? If it is that case, I think unpaid work experience is absolutely fine. So it's just a way for you to see what you like and what you don't like and if it's something that you could see yourself doing. Now I think if you're looking for a graduate job, you want to get onto a conversion internship or a conversion program. And so just make sure that you read that. So the conversion ones usually have a little bit more of an assessment to them. So you'll have an assessment on one of the days and it can convert into a graduate program. So if that's what you're looking for, then make sure that you are reading and looking at where it's, it, that it's a conversion program. You don't wanna go on shadow someone and it not really lead to anything if you're actually looking for a job at the end of it. So just make sure you're asking the right questions and that you're getting from it what you want. If it is just experience that you want, absolutely fine. If it is just experience that you put on your CV, absolutely fine, make sure that you're getting that. If you are wanting to get a job out of it, make sure that it is a conversion program feel free to phone up anywhere and just say um is this is a conversion so will this convert into a graduate job or will it convert into a job um at the end of the internship so if that's what you're looking for make sure that you're asking the questions however if you are simply just looking for experience looking for a way to build skills looking for a way to shadow someone looking for a way to get networks then unpaid work experience is absolutely fine i think depending on what you're studying depending on what your career goal is depending on what you want to get out of it you have to make sure that you make the right decision. I would say unpaid work experience is usually great for like sixth form or first year of university and then first year of university to second you want to be getting on insight weeks you want to be getting on insight programs um you want to be making sure that you are applying for things that could have a conversion into a paid full internship which is usually about six weeks and then from that you want to make sure that you're getting into that graduate job so if you think of it as kind of a step-by-step -step process which is something i don't really know of insight week internship grad job and make sure that it's conversion if that's what you want um i know loads of people who have done bits and pieces here and there and for them it's fine 
because they're just exploring. So it depends whether you're exploring or whether you're focused on this is what I want and this is the kind of job that I want. I think the benefits of work experience are just networks. Like you meet so many people. I mean, it's up to you how proactive you are in meeting people, but you have the potential to meet so many people to build your network. Um, I know people who are being mentored by people they met through work experience to this day. Um, and I think that that's such a useful thing. People who are in the role who can advise you, I think that's incredible. Um, I think it gives you an insight into the organization itself on a, you know there's things you can't get from Google you can't Google what's the culture of a firm like you you, you you won't get it right until you're actually in that organization so I think it gives you a great understanding of the culture of the firm and things that um, happen on a day-to-day -day basis I think also I've said this before in another video it also gives you an understanding of what you don't want and what you don't like which is just as important as actually understanding what you do like I think if you can understand what you cannot fathom it will help you figure out what you actually like so I think those are benefits of actually doing a work experience so again whether that's a work experience program or a formal internship or conversion um, just make sure that you know exactly what you're applying to you want to go through the whole application and find out actually it's not even what I'm looking for so make sure that you read the small print and if you're ever in doubt pick up the phone and call somebody and talk okay, to guys, so that was my very quick video on work experience I hope you found it really useful um, there are so many great places that you can find work experience um, so depending on what year you are in depending on um, what level of university you're in places like whether it be Target Jobs or Indeed or Bright Network who are focused on students who I love shout out to Bright Network SMF Rare SEO um, Aleto Foundation there's so many organisations that, that can provide any kind of work experience so make sure you sign up to them I'll put some below in the description box of ones I think are really really good but yeah you've got to be proactive if you're looking for work experience okay guys that's the end of this video follow me on all my socials everything is at up on it careers um, DM me email me ask me any questions that you want about work experience if you want any more specific information what I will say is it's always worth it if you're getting what you want out of it so just make sure that you get what you want out of the work experience bye guys